Ruben yeah. giving a little bit of a smirk as he goes away. It's 90, it's about 85% happiness, 15% slight embarrassment that, you know, you know when you... Like, maybe he like, just oh. really prefers Falcon on that stage to Samus in that matchup. And he hey, feels maybe. it was the correct decision. I doubt it, but maybe. It anyway. maximized his win percentage. <laughs> yeah, that's that's got to be it. So back when Catherine played Falco, um, back in those <laughs> days, back in those days, um, like, it was only like a year ago, so, year, year and a half. Anyway, that was when Catherine was starting to, like, actually make um, best of threes, or oh, best of threes, um, best of fives. So, <laughs> she'd always run into Kai, in like losers quarters or like and just get like absolutely destroyed because she was not very fast and not very good at the Falco ditto mm. um <laughs> I'm always like bitching about like oh man I can't can't it just be a best of three why do I gotta play this why do I gotta lose like three times wow that's but rough. now she plays Peach and she has a bit slightly bigger brain slightly bigger brain she has a bit better grasp um have no idea if I mean, obviously Kai is playing a bit better than he was earlier in the day. Um, earlier on, Kai actually dropped the game to Will D. Will D. Will D. Yes, the legend. The legend himself. But now yeah, we'll yeah. see if she can incorporate some of what Will D did into her game. Do you not see her down smashing? She already, you know, so she's seen, but she needs to be on those platforms. Doing it. The Falco, yeah, you know, Falco, yeah, you can multi shine, but. Look at these wave lines. Have you never seen wave lines Ooh. as crisp as that? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Check it out. Actually, she, oh, pun! No, yeah. no punish. Actually, Quetz has really crisp um, and really fast wave lines. Yeah. So really, as the Peach here, <laughs> this is what you want to be practicing. You want to be practicing your toes. You want to be practicing your wave lines off. And Float cancels. No, I don't want to see, um, if I'm the Peach, I'm probably practicing my double jump lands on platforms yeah. to moving out and practicing wave dash out of shields, but that's more so because I play two, two different characters with different jump spots, so I have to get used to jump shot timing with Peach. I'm also practicing my fast nares out of shield. Mm. You can uh, you can get to the platform and like start moving across it with the double jump cancel uh, dash, like, yeah, but, you then, can, you but then how do you get back down? Fast. From the platform? Yeah, you just shield drop down. You shield drop like down. You shield drop down fast forward. I mean, you don't have to. If you um, shield drop up here on like side plat on Battlefield, it'll actually auto cancel if you do it fast enough. Um, you can also. But well, I don't think you can fast forward. Oh, actually, no, maybe, maybe you can fast forward for it. Alright, that was a. You heard it here first. Maybe you can fast forward. Maybe you can. I actually can't remember if it's. If you. Um, you have to do it really early for it to auto cancel. I can't remember if that's really early with a fast forward or really early just. Is there anything she, right there where she pushing up with the, with the dash? Like, is there anything she can do to stop from going to ledge? I actually didn't see that exact spot, so oh, I can't. I'll pay I'm more of attention. Pull it out next time. Sure. Like, he was like low percent, just pulled him off, and he was like down like there, and he just like shined, then jumped back to the ledge. Like, and she was on stage, like kind of moving back and forth. I really have to see this. I can't really give you a concise answer because it's like, at least for me, like. It's a lot easier to see it like visually rather than have something. Like, in that situation, uh, if you're playing like Marth, you could probably run off and forward out, uh, or maybe like quickly grab the ledge and yeah. drop down. So in that spot, um, Falco was getting chain grabbed and uh, DI'd to top plat and then decided to tech in. You never want to do that. You just always, I think, I'm pretty sure if you tech away, Peach doesn't have a guaranteed follow up off up throw. Like, if Peach is on, if Peach is up throwing on side plat and Falco DI's to top plat and then techs away, I don't think Peach um, can, can get there in time. You need some crisp movement to just get there and apply pressure more than that. Pretty much what you'd have to like settle for. Oh, that's see, I'm, she may have been able to get like her weak hit um, back to something, but just opts for the nair because I think she's more comfortable right now with um, sticking with what she knows. It's, it's better to just stick to what you know than try and be fat, like try and be clever. The boot, baby. The the big boot. Yeah. Or Falco's big boot. That's always the classic. So, Falco doesn't really dare there on um, side plat, but which could have been shield grabbed in time, but Catherine not reacting fast enough. Slap! Let's Falco just kind of. All that. Up. She still needs to hit this head guard though. This should. Okay, well. You definitely. When Falco up is that high, you definitely have enough time to react. Yeah. Um, even as Peach. But sometimes your reactions aren't. The greatest. Did you see what he tried to up? do with that? He was trying to like laser reset her in the air, then like do like a smash turn back or something like that. It was Ooh. pretty nice. 
ass. Okay. This is such a scary spot, spot for Peach. Um, thankfully for Catherine, I just this the shield's dwindling. Pretty poor down smash. Just gives like eases up a lot of the pressure. Still. Oh well, it wasn't a shield, but she still managed to hit the nair. Not dying yet. We're gonna. I think the spot Falcon is trying to just back here. Yeah. yeah. You like want to try and corral Peach um, to like ledge or like around that like ledge area and like put out back airs. And then she has to gamble. Pretty much. And like, even if Peach gets ledge. See that? Even if Unless the Falcon would have back in. Yeah. Oh, good shield drive. I would say one thing that one of the things that Catherine has improved on over the past like month or so is uh, shield drops and acting like doing stuff quickly out of it. Oh, that's it. That's yeah. it. You don't need that. one hit at like 80. Mm, bad DI. It'll kill you. That was such a terrible spot to be. So when Falco was invincible. Catherine decided, I'm going to just put myself right on, I'm going to be on side plan, I'm going to put myself right below you without, like, and pull a turn up. I think she pulled a turn up. And that's yeah. just like, that's just pretty much saying, you know, come on, dare me. You won't. <laughs> what are you going to do, dare me? <laughs> yeah, dude got dead, like. Oh. If only you could, like, throw... If you like smash this, if you could throw uh, turnips at like the angles Firefox can go. God, that would be crazy. That would be nice. It would. You could cover everything. <laughs> it's just like, with like the control stick or C stick, you can just like choose yeah. the angle. Yeah, yeah. That would actually be so sick. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Yeah, because like right there, she could hit it. Mm. Rough. Might be a little bit too well, strong. In the ideal version of Melee, she would have gotten that stuck earlier. I agree, you know. Have you ever played back when uh, one of the Tony XXs let you set a peach pulled? It still uh, does. Well, I don't know. It's, it was easy to do, at least the version I have. You just go in debug. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. When every... Um, every stitch. Every pull of stitch. That's some oh, fair melee. That was a really bad... Like, Catherine, I think she was trying to do something else, but she did, like, this weird double jump there out of shield, and... It just put her in such a terrible position. I mean, she was already in a, she was already in a poor position just being near the young ledge. And decided to burn a double jump and put herself in lag. It's not what you want, but that's the fair. That does um, seem to be a real weakness of Peach, is it's hard for her to threaten the ledge while well, also covering the stage. Sort of. It's Falcon and Fox can both side be low enough to avoid it. Um, generally... To like, avoid a lot of like turnips. It's a bit slower for her to, to get onto the ledge than a lot of the other characters. Yeah. Well, generally she's not. Oh, Brilliant. yeah. Okay. Nice. I was I was convinced. Right. I think. Right. I think Amada would have pulled a turnip at some point and then gone down there, or just gone after, down there. after that first bear. Amada would have pulled a turnip. Um, probably would have hit another bear. And then gone and down. And then gone down. Yeah. Um, no, I assume Catherine was just going to down smash, and Kai was going to tech and. But yeah. Catherine was trying to do the, the proper thing, sort of, and it's good to see. There's one more piece of the puzzle. So, it's a scary position, when you're on high percent, um, pushing through the corner, because like anything that puts you is going to... This is a close game. It is, it's quite close. Competitive. It's good to see. <laughs> nice tech. A lot of people miss the first tech, just like the first time, like the first down throw tech, just because... They're not used to. Um, I think it's just not, not at all worth it with Falco. With Fox, maybe oh, if they're gonna react. Oh, that would have been. Oh, cheeky. that was such a strong punish. Uh, yeah, see, in that spot, yeah, it's hard. <laughs> it's like it's hard. roll, roll, and stand and get up are both pretty much death sentences. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. she had to. She definitely had to like dash tag after that. Fair when like Falcon went straight up. Oh man. Yeah, that's thing. Now like she's really struggling to close out the stock, and he's got all the control, all the reset. It. I think Catherine got a shield up in time, but yeah. I think she tried to. Yeah, like she rolled. Yep. Nice, rough. But I think we're probably going back. Might might be going FT, but I think yeah, going back. Ready? Oh, 
Ooh, that such How a strong. How many has this been, mate? Just perpetually kept in disadvantage. But that said, there was like definitely a lot Cameron could have done. He could have um tagged a lot of those down there. Just in general, the eyed and SDI would be a bit better. Okay, weird um tech chase down smash. Ooh. Ah, uh, she not float. Maybe she float because that seems such a weird like drift be, uh, to do. Maybe she thought she had float and didn't. But I thought she did. But, oh. Maybe she had a like side beat to get rid of height. Okay, I definitely. I think. Oh, nice. Oh. Outplayed. Outplayed. Yeah. Big potential for outplay. This actually though. does have a like very big potential. Oh, <laughs> nice oh. outplay! Oh. oh, that wasn't you know that high outplay by just SDing off oh, or like pretending to SD, getting Cap from the throwaway to turn it. Um. Okay, nice tech chase. He's getting to do all kinds of stuff. Oh. I think in general, Kappa needs to be a lot more hesitant um, towards just going near the ledge when Kai makes it. Like, you have to really respect Kai's ledge dashes there. Like, and the thing is, you don't, like, that doesn't mean you just let them ledge dash on for free every single time, but it means you position, your, you space yourself and position yourself a bit closer to center because it's a lot easier for um, Falco just to, Falco or Fox, who's saying, like, say, ledge dash up, tilt, ledge dash shine when they don't have to move at all. Yeah. Right? But if you're outside that range, then suddenly there's a mix up and then suddenly they have to potentially go for, like, ledge dash, dash into, say, shine, and that makes, adds an extra layer of, like, input on them. This is brutal. Yeah, this punish like... Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna try and... Yeah. Yeah. Putting the nail in the coffin there. Mm -hmm. I believe right. that's me and... No, Nick now. loses semis. No, we're doing winners' no. finals first. Okay, winners' finals, then loses semis, and then loses finals, then grand finals. And then we'll be done. Alright, winners' finals, Nick versus Musket.